Hey, good morning and welcome back. A question, did the Babylonians more or less dismantle the Hebrew sanctuary? Our reading is now at Jeremiah 52, verses 17 to 23. Boy, we're almost done. But listen to this. The bronze pillars that were in the house of the Lord and the carts and the bronze sea that were in the house of the Lord, the Chaldeans broke in pieces and carried all their bronze to Babylon. They also took away the pots, the shovels, the trimmers, the bowls, the spoons, and all the bronze utensils with which the priests ministered, the basins, the fire pans, the bowls, the pots, the lampstands, the spoons, and the cups, whatever was solid gold, whatever was solid silver, the captain of the guard took away. The two pillars, one sea, twelve bronze bowls which were under it, and the carts which King Solomon had made for the house of the Lord. The bronze of all these articles was beyond measure. Now concerning the pillars, the height of one pillar was 18 cubits. A measuring line of 12 cubits could measure its circumference, it, and its thickness was four fingers. It was hollow. A capital of bronze was on it, and the height of one capital was five cubits, and a network of pomegranates all around the capital, all of bronze. The second pillar with pomegranates was the same. There were 96 pomegranates on the sides. All the pomegranates all around on the network were 100 so, did the Babylonians come and sort of dismantle things? Yes, they did. They must have had carts, and uh, away they go with all the spoons and everything that was bronze or silver or gold. It, it went away to Babylon on the fast track. If you're dismantling a nation, it's a pretty good plan to start by dismantling its religion. And this is exactly the policy that the Babylonians pursued, especially on this third, this third major uh, invasion of Judah. This time it was pretty much, you know, we're just going to come and just annihilate the place. Now what's interesting piece here is that we know from our previous study of the book of Jeremiah that, that Jeremiah told the king, Zedekiah, if you submit to Babylon, we'll be able to stay here in our own land. Yes, you might have to send, well, you will have to send him some tribute and a lot of stuff perhaps, but would the, the people would have been able to stay in their land. They would have been able to continue to worship in their temple in Jerusalem. The worship would not have been disrupted. And all this couldn't happen because the king was disobedient, the wealthy people were disobedient, and finally God just swept it all away. He allowed the Babylonians to come in and ransack his sanctuary. Is it really a surprise? Their rebellion cost them dear, and our rebellion will cost us quite dearly too. If we engage in it. Hebrews 11 reminds us, you remember that hall of faith there? It goes down through talking about all these people who by faith did this, by faith did that, all this that they did. These were people who were willing to act, act out their faith and, and, and do exploits for God. These were people who were fully trusting in Jesus. And as you get to the bottom of the list at Hebrews 11, it says something quite interesting there. You might remember it says, and of these, the world was not worthy. So you see, those who were self-seeking, the acts of faith that were done there, that were done on earth, the people who were self-seeking weren't worthy of that. But these people who were simply willing to submit to Jesus, they were worthy. And Jesus says, they'll walk with me in white because they're worthy. I want to be one of those, don't you? But the interesting piece here is that the leaders of Judah had so little of that real faith. They were so self-seeking that God took away what little they had left by allowing the Babylonians to come and take it away. Well, if that's not a call to prayer, I'm not sure what is. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we should always start by seeking to understand what you want us to do, not what we want to do. We shouldn't be looking for you to uh, give us a thumbs up. We should look to you and find out what you want us to do and go from there. So Lord, the people in the kingdom of Judah were unwilling to do what you wanted them to do. And consequently, they lost just about everything. A group of them did. Lord, help us to do better. Through Jesus, may we do better. We ask for your help in this. In Jesus' name, amen. So yes, the Babylonian occupiers dismantled in large measure the Hebrew sanctuary. And the most fascinating piece was it was all unnecessary. Didn't have to be that way. There's some things in your life and my life that don't have to be that way. Let's follow Jesus and go on the right path. God be with you in all that you do this day.